Hi guys, Isabella Green here. Today I'd like to share with you my most recent vision. So this kind of goes into my visions and dreams series. Been having this vision oof, for years. In first, I think it first started in dreams and then it started coming into my meditations and then it started happening just spontaneously in the middle of different situations uh, in life and I would zoom out and all of a sudden I'm back on that timeline. So the theme of that vision was always the same over and over with different set of characters but always the same setting and always the same theme and I'm going to now share that with you first. Um, tribal times ancient prehistoric tribes on earth somewhere i am a female in female form the tribes are gathered it's nighttime it's dark um, there are two different tribes around the fire um, and there's a lot of tension the tension is uh, around decision to go to war or well some sort of tribal uh, battle there going on or, or tribal discord so I am a female and I am hiding in the cave because I know what's coming uh, and what's coming is and that that played in my in my dreams and my visions in different scenarios but always the same outcome so the male figure and in some scenarios it was my brother, in some scenarios it was my husband, in some scenarios it was my father. Um, but all of these male figures were present throughout the, all of the scenarios. And so the, I'm hiding in the cave uh, behind the bear skin um, and, or, or the skin of some ancient animal that's hanging on the wall. There's not much... A chance for me to really hide but I'm scared and then so I'm trying to postpone what's going to happen uh, and that male is strong and it's, it's always a warrior or a really strong physically strong male and he comes in and he grabs me and he carries me to uh, where the tribes are sitting and I can see that uh, fire pit or like the circle around the fire and, and the only light there is that fire um, and they're in the woods, like in the jungle or in the, in the forest, and it's nighttime. And I'm seeing a lot of angry eyes. They're just looking. And, and it's not friendly at all. You know, there's that confrontation between two uh, different tribes. And it seems like one tribe comes in to demand something. And my tribe, or the tribe that I belong to, is trying to uh, up ease that that tribe that's attacking but uh, it's a nighttime it's like a negotiation type of thing and so they are offering sacrifice to the second to that tribe that's coming demanding something none of that I don't know any of that because I'm just a female there a female figure and I'm a chief's daughter um, and my the chief very often is my father in that thing and I'm see, sometimes he carries me sometimes uh, I see him afterwards sitting there in deep sadness um, and so they basically grab me out of that one of those male figures they, they grab me out of that cave and I'm carried like over the guy's shoulder to be a human sacrifice to the other tribe because they're doing some sort of ritual where the sacrifice is required and so I'm being sacrificed and you know moments before moments before that happens like my state of being and, and the state of being of how am I betrayed so much by my brother or my 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 father or my um, husband or, at that time and and just that sense of injustice and that sense of like why me and why I'm a human being I'm not an animal why am I being sacrificed here and the whole thing but then at the same time is kind of there's that helplessness like there's nothing I can do because that's what men do and that's what they are you know they decided to do and then also um, 
all of, like that animalistic kind of taking my feet as is. And so as that happens, it seems like my soul lingers around there and I can see, I can either see my father uh, there, my, my father's uh, grief and he's sitting there staring at the fire re realizing that that sacrifice didn't change anything and the tribe still went to war. Um, and or the brother or, or the husband, they, they, they are in, in grief uh, or in, in regret. but. Uh, so that, the, all these feelings, and the first time I, I had that vision was, God, uh, when I had my very first kind of, um, like, past life regression, and I only saw, like, moments immediately prior to death, and so that was the very first time that came in. And like I said, since then, that kept playing out and playing out. When I came to Sedona, uh, I happened to have a roommate and at some point, who was an artist, and at some point we uh, had a discussion about having incarnations in tribal times or in native times, um, and I started telling him that vision, and he pulled out a painting where uh, all, all of that was painted. <laughs> the circle and the angry eyes and the people around it and a man carrying a, a sacrificial woman over and uh, he actually remembered himself as a father in grief being unable to save his daughter so all these feelings right all of this all of these timelines of trauma for male characters and for myself as a female character in there and so, uh, around the full moon this month, I go to a ceremony that, which is facilitated by three different practitioners, one of them being a, a shaman who practices ancient uh, um, Latin American style or Caribbean, or I'm sorry, not Caribbean, Colombian, <laughs> Colombian style um, of shamanic work and there is another practitioner who is a breath work breath worker doing the breath work for us and also uh, someone who is doing the sound healing uh, meaning the, the bringing bringing the sounds the the, the digits and the, and the flute and uh, chanting and all of that and so as we start with the ceremony all of a sudden I'm back in that space and I'm back in that cave and the, and the thought comes to mind, like, oh my God, not again. I really so don't want to relive that all over again. Because once that vision starts, it's so real, so physical, it's so disturbing. You know, it's it's not a pleasant place. It never has been. Um, but before that ceremony, actually three days prior to that, or two days prior to that, I became aware of so much stuff that was ancestral. In, in my lineage and so I was kind of tracing that through my father's line, through my mother's line and I was doing two days of processing of uh, my parents stuff and my own stuff and then I called my parents to come in and meet me in the soul space although my parents are still alive but um, you can meet with, with the soul separately from the physical forms you know from the human form so I met with them and, and I uh, kind of renegotiated that with them to release myself and all of that their lineage and stuff from that pain you know from from the whole ancestral pff, thousands of years of incarnations of, of pain and trauma and sacrifice and all that right so i kind of started that process when i went to the full moon ceremony i did not expect uh, that that was going to come in in the form of that vision uh, but I really knew that I had to go to the ceremony I didn't do too many ceremonies but here I just was like you have to go okay well, guidances I have to go so I went as they started and they started drumming I literally started hearing thousands of years of drumming 
uh, and incarnation after incarnation, like, you know, like one shot after the next in the movies, all started unfolding like that, timelines after timelines, and I've seen my mother's and my father's and my own, and uh, each one of theirs expanded multidimensionally into thousands of other incarnations, all going back to tribal times. Um, and here I am, uh, and it says that that's the very first, well, I don't know if there's such a thing as a very first, but let's just say probably the very first linked to this lifetime for me, uh, the very first human incarnation that, I'm, that I am in, in the physical form on earth as a human in a tribe, and I'm hiding in a cave again. Except this time, oh, the drama and the healing is, and I know I'm seeing all of that just being pulled away. All of that paradigm of sacrifice, the paradigm of pain, the paradigm of sadness, the paradigm of war, the paradigm of all of this stuff that I kept seeing over and over in my previous visions. I literally am seeing that being like peeled off. Not seeing, but it's, it's this sensation. And... My brother, yet again, from that, and I don't have a physical brother in, in this incarnation, but um, there I always did. So the brother comes in and carries me, but he's not carrying me over the shoulder. He actually picks me up like that and he carries me towards the fire. And there are people around in a circle, there are two tribes all over again. And as he puts me down in front of that fire, I'm not seeing the angry eyes. I'm seeing the eyes full of joy. I'm seeing the excitement and I get the feeling that there is a celebration about to take place. And I don't really, uh, because I'm processing it from this form, remembering all of the awfulness. And, and here I'm like, wow, this is different. This is different. This is a different timeline. Did we shift? Did we, all of us, that whole group, that whole uh, lineage that I kept experiencing. And I'm also seeing all the people in that room, in, in, that, in the ceremony here. Uh, all present around that fire. So all of us experience in a clear in those tribal incarnations. Um, and I'm seeing friendly eyes. I'm seeing uh, happy, excited eyes about to have a celebration. As I'm standing there, um, I, I kind of zoom out and see what it is that I'm looking at. And in front of me, there is a man uh, and I know that's a man, uh, or it's a son from uh, a chief from the other tribe. And I'm the daughter of the chief of this tribe. And both fathers are standing there and there is no confrontation and there is no um, conflict there. And they are really content. And I'm recognizing that I am here to bond the tribes through the ceremony of marriage or sacred marriage of, of uh bringing the tribes together and so somehow all of a sudden i know that by me stepping into that space and that young man stepping in there with me that we're going to actually share the land together as two tribes versus fighting over that land the fighting over resources that we're going to bring the warriors together and, and the gatherers together and and the whole uh Tri that whole tribal expression together uh, around, you know, and, and share the space, share the living space together. And I'm looking at him, and I don't see the face, but I'm, I'm recognizing the energy of that man. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sh I shared, I think I shared that with you before, that uh, in this couple of years ago, probably last year, I was having really intense interaction with uh, Syrian canine being, canine humanoid Syrian being who kept visiting me in dreams and visions and but it, it was an extraterrestrial being, it was not a human uh, but here I'm looking at that human in front of me in that vision and uh, I'm recognizing that it's that same energy and I really clearly can see his physical form literally there, you know uh, well, in this reality, the people are drumming and we're doing the breathing and, and we, we're hearing the chanting and the music and I'm, I'm 
kind of sort of aware of this, but the experience over there in the tribe around the tribal fire is so real that I'm feeling it like in every cell of my body, I'm there. So I'm looking at that man and I don't see the face because he's got a wolf skin on his head and it's here you know so i only see the bottom part of his face and the wolf skin is on top of his head and the skin is hanging on his shoulders and he's got bare torso and he's in front of me and i feel like we we hold like he puts his hand like he takes my hands and i can feel the hands and the shamans are starting and the shamans are drumming again they're starting to drum because the ceremony is starting and the people are, are starting to move you know because it's a celebration it's it's the celebration of this sacred marriage of the tribes and i recognize at that moment that um all of that trauma, all of that guilt, all of that war, all of that victim, all of that sadness is released through generations. Whew, that was really intense, really intense. And the experience again was so real for me that when I, I would like some part of my head is hearing, uh, oh, I'll get back to your body and yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm going, wait, wait, it's, it's like I'm there, I'm not even, what are you talking about, get back to my body. So it took me a moment to really uh, land back here on this timeline, but when I did, it's interesting because the whole reality feels different. And it feels like it's different not only for my own, but also through my ancestral and parental and centuries of human incarnations through that lineage bringing the tribes back together instead of guilt and war and shame and sacrifice so just wanted to share this with you this was really profound for me a really incredible experience well for more uh, videos every week please tune in uh, subscribe to my youtube channel or you can catch me on facebook as well. Uh, if you'd like to have a session with me, I do healing work, uh, more like soul reading work, really. So you can take a session with me at isabellagreen.com. Thank you for tuning in today. I love you. Take care. Namaste. Mm -hmm.